What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel, Ryrak to K-Pop. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Definitely helps me out. We are back with B2B. I'm finally watching the Immortal songs. I'm so sorry it took me this long. Um, it was recommended a lot. <laughs> and I think I have the correct performances, but if I don't, please tell me. Um, I have... I have To My Love, Tell Her, and then B2B Blue, Under the Sky. I think those are the three. And then next time I'm going to do Eun Kwong's separate one, and then him and his mom, and then Hyun Six. If I'm missing any, please let me know. Send me links. I will get to them, I promise. Um, but yeah. Let's get to these three. I'm excited. You guys said Immortal Songs was really, really good. Um, and I'm sure it is because they're amazing singers and they're amazing live. Oh, and I apologize. I did not mean Outsider <laughs> in my last video. I meant Blue Moon. Is that what it's called? That they sang in Kingdom? I don't know why I was thinking of Outsider. I've heard the beginning of Outsider. <clears throat> but that's it. I don't know why I was thinking about that. <gasps> Anyways, let's get into this. I'm sorry, I'm drinking my coffee. Is this also just BTB blue? Yeah, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. Thank you for the English captions. I know this is a serious and beautiful song, but it kind of looked like Hyun Sik was wearing a pajama top. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks like Sung Jae's wearing one too. Yansik. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> Guys, I can't watch BTB Blue shit. It like makes me teary eyed. <laughs> Hyun 
I can just feel how emotional they are when they sing, and it makes me emotional. <laughs> Sungjae and Chang sub. That was beautiful. I like. I like really. Do you guys know of like if they have any content out there like of them preparing for performances like this like like all the thought and everything that goes into like i would just i would just love to watch their process of producing a song because i saw a bit of it with un kwang whenever um he did love poem with um sungmin and you know no not you know Oh my god, ATs. I'm horrible with names. I can never remember names. Jong Ho. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Jong Ho. <sighs> and I, like, really enjoyed, like, Un Kwong. Like, okay, you take that melody, I'll take this melody. Like, you cover the soprano. Like, you cover, like, I, like, I was amazed at, like, how fast they like got like it all figured out like i like i i was just shook like so i would like love to watch something like that <clears throat> where like b2b blue is like like processing the process of like producing their own music and like who takes what part and like and like how the melodies all come together like stuff like that so if there's anything like that, please let me know because the way that they put the melodies together and like it, it just it's r amazing like it's so good like like I took choir like a really really long time ago like when I was in high school and like it just it that and that's what that remi that's what this reminded me of was like a choir performance. <laughs> But, like, honestly, like, that's that's kind of, like, what it reminded me of. Because you have all the different tones and... Okay, anyways. Enough of me, like... <laughs> okay, let's do Under the Sky. Oh, okay, so they had to have a rematch. Go B2B Blue! That's facts. Gentle charisma. That's a good way to put it.
See, this that's what I want to see. I want to see the process of them like taking a song that was originally a solo and like adding all of these different chords and sounds and melody like I, like I think that process is really interesting. This song came out in 1993. That was a year before I was even born. <laughs> I feel like I should have just watched the whole show. <laughs> I guess not. They have to do like crazy vocal exercises to keep their voices like this. See, like, it, it just amazes me the amount of tone that they brought into the song. Like, like, Un Kwong's taking the lead, and then you have, like, Hyun Sik and Sung Jae, like, taking the more lower notes, and then Chang Sub's, like, mid notes in there. Like, ugh. Yes, Sanjay. Yes, Yonsek. 
Oh. I'm just gonna start getting teary eyed again. I wish I knew more about like singing so I could like get more technical about it. I don't know I don't know if you guys have ever watched um uh, what's her name? Katrinka. I think her name's Katrinka. She's like a vocal coach and um she like does reaction videos to K-pop and like she actually like goes into really deep detail about the singing, vocal tone, melody, like things like that and like I really enjoy watching her videos. She actually did a reaction to Love Poem, I think. Same girl, same. <laughs> it just makes you emotional. I don't even know what they're singing about, but it makes you emotional. Listen to that. Listen to how they were all different. They were all on different. They were all singing a different melody. Well, not different melody, but like in a different. <laughs> I'm blanking on the word. <laughs> I'm blanking on the word, but they were all like in a different like tone, if that makes sense. But like, but like it just when you put it together, it just sounds so beautiful. Man. And the yeah, ad libs, ugh. Like, like Sung Jay took a lower tone, Un Kwong was up high. Sorry, I'm just gonna like keep replaying this. That was beautiful. But yeah, I would say, I would say Eun Kwong took like the soprano, Sung Jae took the bass, and Chang Sub and Hyun Sik were more like alto, kind of. <laughs> the studio transformed into karaoke. <laughs> That's that's what gets me is how passionately they sing. <clears throat> I need to watch that whole show. <laughs> Should I just watch the whole thing? Okay, now let's watch Tell Her. <laughs> 
just the ooh in the background <laughs> is so good. I'm telling you, like, I feel like I'm watching a whole, like, choir performance. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Yes, okay. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't ready. I, I was expecting like another like, oh, beautiful song. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah, get into those jazz vibes. Sungjae is loving this song and I'm all about it. <laughs> Peniel. They seriously remind me of like, oh sorry, I didn't realize my hair is a mess. They seriously remind me of like, uh, like, like 60s, is that the 60s? Or is that 50s? I think 60s, like 60s type vibe, like groups like, uh, like the Supremes or something. Like when they're just like singing with the mic and like they have like the little like hand motions and like that's their like little dancey dance. <laughs> What was that look? <laughs>
I tell you what, BTB really knows how to put on a performance. Yes. Wait. Yes. I like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I wish, I wish I could talk more, like, in detail about their singing. But, like, I took choir so long ago, and, like, I only know, like, the basics. Like, <laughs> like, but I do know what soprano, alto, bass is. Like, I know things like that. But, uh, I don't know. Like, if you guys haven't checked out Katrinka's channel, you definitely should. Like, she, she, like really talks about the mechanics of I don't really know how to describe it like of like singing but yeah she's really good and yeah that was I'm glad that I finally watched this like because I've been wanting to check out B2B Blue I was shook by tell her <laughs> I was not expecting the rest of the guys to come out and start rapping I was like wait what but that was a lot of fun. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. Um, I I just love their performing. I really do. Like, A, they know how to put on a performance. B, their singing live is just out of this world. Like, like I, I just, I can tell that they work so hard to keep their vocals in shape. I, I, like, you, like, you just, you can tell, like, because otherwise, like, their vocals wouldn't be that strong. Yeah, next week I will be back with another episode of Reserved and Quiet Idols. I think we're on episode 8. And then I will finish the rest of the Immortal songs. If I missed any, please let me know. I literally just searched B2B Immortal songs and those are the ones that popped up. So I have Un Kwong's solo one and then Un Kwong and his mom, I think someone said. And then... Um, Hyunsik solo one. So, yeah. Let me know if I miss any. Send me links if you can. <laughs> and yeah. Alright, that's it for me, guys. I'm sorry this turned into a long reaction, but I'm glad that I, like, just did all of them at once. Um, and yeah. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys. <laughs>